Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to use Trend View in Comfort Panels. Trend View is an object that graphically represents the value of the process tag. Let's get started. As an example, I am going to monitor the temperature of the motor. First of all, let's create three tags. Tag, that has name value, is going to represent the temperature of the motor. Limit 1, is an alarm limit. It is not recommended to run the motor over that limit for a long time. Limit 2, is an error limit. It is extremely dangerous to run the motor over that limit even for short period of time. The values for the limits, are only optional ones. If you want to use them in real life, then you need to read the parameters of the motor on its plate. Switch to the screen. Put the trend view on the screen. The values that will be visible in the trend are saved in the table of the property named trend to add a trend click on the add new my first one is temperature of the motor expand style set mode as interpolated line width 2 line color blue and line style solid In the column trend values, I have made 999 values. Trend type, cyclic real time. Expand source settings, and select tag named value, as process value, and cyclic, 1 second. Repeat same steps for other two trends. For limit 1. Select color yellow. Source value, limit 1. For limit 2, select color red. Source value, limit 2. In the appearance, activate grid, and for style, select, line and area. Change grid line background color to gray. In text format, change the size of the axis label to 11. In the toolbar, disable toolbar visibility. Configuration of the time axis, mode, is time, interval, 60 seconds, check label, and marks, and increment, 1. Format of left value axis, axis starts at 0, axis ends at 41. Mark label and marks, set label length to 2, increment, 1, and marks, 2. Format right value axis according to left value axis. We have done with the trend view. Put two buttons and three IO fields on the screen. I am going to use buttons to increment or decrement the process value. The step of increment, half of the Celsius. Click on the first button and type plus 0.5 in the labels text field. Click on the events tab, select click event, 
Find the function increase tag, select tag named value, and increment value, 0.5. Click on the second button, and type, minus 0.5 in the labels text field. Click on the events tab, select click event, find the function decrease tag, select tag, named value, and decrement value, 0.5. Select first IO field. Assign tag named as value as the process tag, mode, output, format pattern, 99.9. .9. In appearance, unit, type C for Celsius. Select second IO field. Assign tag named as limit 1 as the process tag, mode, Input Output, Format Pattern, 99.9 .9. In Appearance, Unit, Type C for Celsius Select Third IO Field Assign Tag Named as Limit 2 as the Process Tag, Mode, Input Output, Format Pattern, 99.9 .9. In Appearance, Unit, Type C for Celsius All is done, let's start the simulation. By the help of the buttons I do increase or decrease process value. This process value is represented as blue trend. Limit 1 and limit 2 already has values, as I did set them, some starting values. Press trend view layout, and move it right, that will stop it. Move the slide left and right, it will enables you to see the process value at that time stamp. Data can be seen in the table. Press trend view layout, move it to the left, that will enable it again. I hope that video was useful. Thank you for watching, and happy coding.